Between 2013 and now, progressive steps have been made, largely because uh, there is a president who believes in and supported the new constitution and devolution. Otherwise, there was real danger of devolution being made to fail. In the coming election, the man who led opposition to BBI is running to be president of Kenya. Devolution and the entire constitution of Kenya face grim threats, which we must not take rightly. As governors, we feel strongly that devolution will be safe or will only be safe under the hands of a Laila Odinga led government. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hence, our declaration of support. We are keen to help His Excellency Laila Odinga ascend to the presidency and, and thereby preserve devolution. Number two, people focus COP politics in campaigns. As governors, we have noted that the fifth is keen to establish a people-driven uh, campaign focused on the needs of each region. We have seen this in the Azimio La Umoja consultative forums where people shared their concerns. We are here to express readiness to lead that people-driven campaign agenda, peaceful elections. We have taken note of the commitment by His Excellency Laira Amolo Udinga to peaceful campaigns and peaceful elections. We have taken note of his restraint and voice of reason. We are here, uh, we are here, uh, we, here uh, we are here to help build a watertight alliance for Kenya, an alliance to prevent the country from falling in the wrong hands and backsliding into monolithic and dictatorial conditions. We are keen to lead Azimio's uh, team uh, or Azimio team's aggressive grassroots mobilization in every county, all the wards, through peaceful and progressive campaigns. This time, we have no time to waste on pre-election or post-election standoff and violence that has wasted our country in past elections. We will do everything in our power to help Kenyans understand that we are one people with one destiny. Number four, the future of the nation. As leaders, we feel strongly that the stakes are too high in the coming elections for us to leave anything to chance. The August election will determine whether a number of progressive steps made since 2010 uh, will survive and take care of our children or not. We are convinced that Kenyans will be safe in the hands of His Excellency Raila Amolo Odinga. We are therefore agreed that will be part and parcel of the journey to a united, peaceful, progressive and prosperous Kenya as envisioned in Azimio La Umoja. Having had uh, deep deliberations on our future as a country and the significance to this country, we hereby endorse of Raila Amolo Udinga, signed by us this January uh, 17th here at Naivasha. I thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, His Excellency Governor Kingi. Kama taifa la Kenya tume songa mbele katika safari ya ugatuzi na bila shaka uchaguzi ambao utafanyika mwezi wa nane utaamua kwa Kenya itaendelea kupiga upato mfumo huu wa ugatuzi ama mfano mfumo huu wa ugatuzi utayumba na kati ya wale ambao wanatafuta kiti cha urais tofauti iko wazi mmoja ni mtu ambaye anaamini sana mfumo huu wa ugatuzi 
mwingine alijitokeza kimasomaso mwaka mbili na kumi kupinga mfumo huu wa ugatuzi kwa hivyo wa Kenya wameona manufaa makubwa wa mfumo huu na bila shaka kati ya mikono ya watu hao wawili bila shaka ugatuzi uko katika mikono imara katika mikono ya mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga na hilo ndilo kusudio kubwa la sisi kama magavana hatungependa kamwe baada ya uchaguzi unaokuja wa mwezi wa nane tuone mambo ya ugatuzi mambo ya devolution inaanza kuyumba kwa hivyo kwa kauli moja kama governors tumesema kwamba yule ambaye anaweza kupeleka gurudumu la ugatuzi na kufanya ugatuzi usiyumbe si mwingine ni mheshimiwa Raila Amon Odinga kwa hivyo sisi kama governors kupitia mavuli wa azimio la umoja tumekubaliana tumekata kauli kwamba tukirudi mashinani gavana baada ya gavana tutaweka mikakati yetu katika kaunti zetu kuna kwamba tunazungumza na kuhamasisha umma katika kaunti zetu ili wakati tunaenda kufanya uchaguzi watu wetu wajue kabisa kwamba ni nani ambaye mikono yake tutakuwa uh, salama salmi hususan mfumo wa ugatuzi asante uh, yes, uh, governor joho unajua magavana wenzangu ni wapole sana <laughs> Ile kitu ambaye hajasema wazi ni kwamba tulipata habari kutoka duru za kuaminika kwamba mpango mmoja wa William Ruto ni kupiga vita ugatuzi. Na hii ndio sababu umeona magavana usipungua 30 na wasokuwa hapa wamekuja kwa baba kwa hakikisho kwamba devolution is here to stay. Na hao unajua ni wa waungwana. Lakini nataka niwaambie sisi tunajua ugatuzi sahihi kwa macho ya wenzetu uko na noma. Na tusipojipanga wataharibu progress ambayo tumepata hadi sasa. Ndio maana tunasema mtu yoyote ambaye ameona manufaa, amebadilisha maisha, ameona maendeleo, mionendo ya ugatuzi, then you are vote must be for Raila Amolo Odinga. Thank you. I join my colleagues first in uh, thanking former Prime Minister for his steadfast support for devolution. Mm -hmm. And we believe this coming election is about the future of devolution. Can we entrust a man who has opposed devolution consistently yes. to be the one to lead it in the coming 5-10 years? Mm -hmm we think we don't want to gamble. And for that reason, we are appealing to, we are 30 here, we are five who have given the apologies, and even those who are not here, and the entire devolution family, it is time to stand up for devolution. And we have also pledged that as we go back to our respective counties, we are going to ensure that we mobilize our people to the man, both to, to, to register as voters, and also to ensure that uh, in the coming elections, we are able to put our vote where it counts. Mm -hmm. Lastly, there are people who have campaigned for the last five years. Mm -hmm. Since 2017, they were campaigning. And even if they win now, they will still be campaigning. We want a president who will work for the people of Kenya. Mm -hmm. We cannot be on a perpetual campaign mode. When will we ever work for the people of Kenya? Thank you, and allow me to invite our chairman. Thank you. <coughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, very briefly. I want to reiterate what my colleagues have just said very eloquently, that um, we are unanimous in our meeting which we have just held, that our candidate for 2022 for the presidency, the president of Kenya, the deputy president of Kenya and commander-in-chief of the armed forces is no other than Papa Raira Omoro Odinga. It's unanimous. The way we did with BPI of 89% of the counties agreed in his 
policy of bringing Kenya together and also ensuring there is unity in Kenya. And now with the new philosophy of Asmiura Umoja, Kenya must be united and it's only Papa who can do that. There is no living person in Kenya or East Africa who has dedicated his services to liberate Kenya in the first and second liberation than Papa. Mm. There is no other candidate who has impressed the governors that devolution will live beyond even himself and beyond his period forever and ever. With humility, I feel privileged to now invite his Excellency, the fifth <laughs> president of Kenya. Maramoja. Asante, 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 Ndugu Mwenye Kiti. Kwanza, let me thank the governor of Nakuru for um, accepting to host us here in this very, very nice environment. You have had opportunity to deliberate since last <coughs> evening, uh, working with these, these governors. So we are, I'm very hap happy to have had this opportunity to uh, converse with the governors. As you know, today a very important exercise is starting, that is voter registration of our people. And we want these governors to go down there and champion the process of ensuring that our young people register as voters so that they can be able to participate in the most historic elections in our country on the 9th of August this year. Mm -hmm. I want to thank all of them here. The journey is on. Azimio Laumoja, as we said, it's our clarion call that we want to unite our people, that the people become one, irrespective of their status in terms of wealth. Because if somebody is actually agitating for a class war, that oh, Mahmutajiri, na Mahaslas. In every society, there must always be capital owners, those who will be owning means of production, and those who are also employed. You do not deprive the rich so that you can enrich the poor. You create opportunity for the poor to become rich. Yes. This is what we want to do ourselves, so that our people can be able to change their socio-economic status upward social mobility is what we want, so that we create a bigger middle income class in our country. And we can do it, and this is what is going to move this country from a struggling third world economy to a middle income, and finally a first, a first class society in, uh, among the richest in the world. Kenyans can do it. Kenyans have ability to do it, only opportunities lacking. And we'll give him that opportunity to change Kenya. I thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.